What does that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? All right, then. So we're going to be doing a gameplay video of Dozen Doubloons. It is a solitaire game that was on Kickstarter last year, successfully funded, and now it is a real thing. And I'm going to do a gameplay video of the solitaire, but the, I'm going to actually going to be doing a new gameplay video in probably a couple days of the multiplayer version of the game. So in this game, what you'll be doing is you're going to be trying to get rid of all the cards in this row right here by getting sets of 12 and being able to add up numbers that equal 12 you can use one two or three card combinations to get 12 and if you can get rid of all the cards in each row and each row has five cards you're going to be able to collect the doubloons up top and hopefully if you do well you're going to be able to collect all 12 doubloons and win the game there's some other stuff there's some wilds and some blocks we'll get into that kind of stuff as the game progresses and you'll be able to see exactly how it works now, I do want to mention we were playing an intermediate game, which means I took out one of the wild cards to make it slightly more difficult. Normally, there are two wild cards, uh, so I took out one, so it is a little bit harder. So, starting off, uh, we're going to start off right here. We got a 6, and we got a 6, which equals 12. So, we'll set those to the side, discard them, and we'll flip over the next card. And, wow, you're going to see what a block does real quick. Blocks are not good, because blocks mean you have to take this entire row or this entire stack of cards and put them on top of another stack of cards and you cannot access these cards until you get rid of all these cards and then they kind of slide down so essentially now i was working with six numbers now i'm only working with five numbers so over here we got the 12 which is always a good one you can just get rid of that for free whoa that's really not a good start we have another block so we'll put that one right here and as you can see now we cannot create 12 we have 4 11 10 and 11 that's not good but luckily you have all these cards down here that you're going to be able to go through if you ever run out of cards down here and you can't create 12s then you lose the game so we'll start down here you go one at a time and you stack them like this uh, so we got a 10 we got a 12 the 12 isn't really going to help us because we need the 12 up here not down here uh, we got a wild. That's going to help us. So as I mentioned, there's going to be one wild card in play, and this is the wild card right there. Um, so I need to use it right now, but the thing is, there's not really a good spot to use it. Because optimally, you'd like to create a three-card combination to create the number 12. But the thing is, if a block card comes up next from this pile, you lose all these cards. So the question is, do we want to gamble? And I'm going to say no, we're not going to gamble. And we're going to go ahead and take this wild, and we're going to take this four, and bada boom, we got an eight right there, and we are one card closer to having that slide down. So we got a seven, and we still can't make a 12, so we got a seven, we got a four, not going to help us, we need a one or a two. There's another 12, you really like to see those in those rows. There we go, so we got a five, so we got a five, we got ourselves a seven, bada bing, we got a 12, put that up, and we are one card closer... Oh, delightful. 11, 11, 10, 11. That's terrible. There's another 11. Just fantastic. Just keep keep it coming. There's a 2. So we got our 10. We got our 2. We got 12. Get rid of those. Flip this over. Say it's a 1. It is not a 1. There's our 1, though. So, we have a couple options here. Um, we could get this 1 and this 3 and use them together. And we could use this 8 to get rid of this row. But that's really not going to help us too much because we need to get these cards down. So let's see. This card ha still has 5 in it. And this one only has 3. So the obvious choice here is to get this 1, get this 11, and bam, we got 12. Discard that. And we are a little bit closer. And oh, that's, that's just luck right there. 11 and 1, boom. So we are one card away from getting those cards down. All right, so we got a 7, we got a 9... So we can do the 9 and the 3. Yeah, that looks good. So 9, 3, 12. Get rid of that. Not looking too bad. We got another 9. So nothing we can do right now is going to give us a 12. Draw the next card. Another 7. No help. We need some low numbers. There we go. So we got our 7. We got our 5. And kapow! What that means is we're going to collect this doubloon, which means we are 1 12th of the way to having the top score. This is going to slide back down and then get the doubloon on top. This block card goes away, and we now have a three, which means that's great because now we can do this nine. Wait, is that a nine? That is a nine. A nine and a three, which means, pow, we are, we're getting close here, folks. We might be able to pull this out. Okay, not so close now. Seven, five, that works. 
We got another five. All right, so we got a five, eight, eight, eleven. Nothing that we can do right now, so we'll draw another card. It's a block. So as I mentioned, you get a block. All these cards are now gone. Out of the game. Nothing you can do about it. Six. No help. But if we get a one, that'd be good. So we can get rid of that. Twelve. Not helpful down there. We got a three. Hmm. I'm gonna move the. I'm actually gonna move this discard pile right over here, and I think that'll make it so my hand doesn't block the camera. I'm still learning about this live streaming thing. We got a seven. Oh, there we go. Seven, five, boom. That's a twelve. Get out of here, which means we are got ourselves another doubloon. So we now have two out of the twelve doubloons. But we are running very low on cards. We have six cards left, and we got a lot to do. We need a four. That's not a four. That's a one. That's good. All right, so we can take this one. Get this 11 right here, boom, get that out of there, and draw another card, and we got a 6. Not helpful. Need a 4. There's a 2. Not helpful. There's our 4. Alright, so, we only have 2 in this deck, we have 3 in this deck. Obviously we want to get those cards down, so we're going to take this 8, we're going to take this 4, get it out of here. That's a block, but that's actually, uh, that's actually pretty good, because it doesn't really do anything. Which means we're going to collect two doubloons, because we cleared out a row. And both these block cards go away. This slides on down. And we got ourselves another row card. So we have a ten and a two, but you know what? Wow, that actually worked out really well. Let's keep it going. Come on. That's where our luck ends. We need to get to this three. And we can't get to the three. Ah, there's an eight. This is our last card. It's a ten. There is nothing we can do. So, after our first game, live streaming, we ended up with 4 out of 12 doubloons. If we would have added in the extra wild, probably would have made things substantially easier. Just to let you know, we had 2 cards in this row. We had 3 cards in this row, and then this one got really neglected. We had 4 cards in this row, and as you can see at this end, this is where you get the 4 doubloons. So we probably should have been focusing there, but if I don't get 12, I don't, I don't really care. But... That is how you're going to play a solitaire game of Dozen of Bloons. That was the gameplay of Dozen of Bloons. And as I mentioned, uh, if this looks like it might be your cup of tea, check out Dozen of Bloons, World Village Games created. And I'm going to be doing a multiplayer video of that with my lovely wife, hopefully sometime this weekend. So uh, stick tuned for that.